Hi everyone! Today I love to share my easiest kimchi recipe and it's called Yangdechu Dongchimi Bulgimchi, also known as Round Cabbage Probiotic Watery Kimchi. It's easy because it takes less than an hour to make and you can't start eating it in a couple of days or even next day during the summer. We eat this kimchi when we eat Korean barbecue to help with digestion but also to keep our mouth full so we don't get burned eating meat off the grill. I wrote the recipe in the front of this video but also below the video so get all the ingredients ready to start cooking. First, you'll need to get all the vegetables sliced and get it ready to be mixed together. We'll start with the round cabbage. In this video, I'm showing my daughter Sophia how to cut the cabbage and utilizing the kitchen knife more effectively. Slice the cabbage into half and cut another half and start slicing it to a bite size. After the cabbage, you need to cut the carrot to a bite size, but be careful with it because carrot is hard to cut. So I'm showing Sophia how to cut it faster and safe. It's not wobbly anymore. Your hands are not going to get chopped. And just thinly, thinly slice it like that. You're gonna make me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, darling. No, oh, yes. everybody, no, not many people know how to use that. It's gonna so. take me a long time. It's okay. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. This is what you do. I don't know if I ever taught you guys how to do that. My this finger is what tells me a guard. Yeah, but your finger, I don't want it this way because you're chopping off. See how I I'm holding my finger this mm -hmm. way. So basically, I'm moving along with it. That's why I can cut fast. And see how my finger's moving to the back? Yeah. That's why I can cut really fast. See? Try again. You're going to have to learn how to do this. And I'm sure some of you don't know how to do that either, whoever is watching you too. Yeah, while she's cutting that, I'm going to be adding the garlic. You could add a little bit more garlic. This one. Yeah, see? It's easier. See? Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Julianne? Just like the way how you did the carrot. Okay. Slice from the side. If it's too much for you, do one at a time or you could do two. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, put it in there, darling. Cutting jalapeno in a larger size because it's a spicy and you may not want to eat it. By having a larger size, it's easy to pick it out, but you know, still keep any the way flavor. you want to. Diagonal, I like it because it looks better. So, you know. That Slice the green onion thinly, and green onion is so flavorful and good for you. So try to eat a lot, even though it smells sometimes. This is harder to do. Okay, that one, you need to use the back side more, so it's easy to control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one takes a little. As Sophia is slicing green onion, I'm adding a 1 tablespoon of salt and 12 ounces of white soda to give that tonic flavor and soda has a sugar in it already. If you're not using the soda, you can use water and it will taste just as good. First, always have the one side flat so it won't wobble. Cut it really thin. Just Show it really Sophia thin. how to mince ginger with the knife. That and that in there and stir. We're done as far as the knife is done. After mixing it well, you can place the ingredients into a gallon jar. Normally, I would wait for about 30 minutes for the ingredients to get wilted, but I was in a hurry to make it quick, so don't do what I do. Wait about 30 minutes and the vegetables will shrink a lot the water and stir first and close the lid and mix it well. I was making this video after work and I, it was about 9 p.m. so I was tired and lazy. It's best to mix it all together in a larger bowl and add the water, salt, and sugar all together before placing all the ingredients into a gallon jar. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> okay, all right, now it's time to add the final touch and make sure that everything tastes fine. I'm adding one more tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar for me. You may want to adjust the salt content to your taste and so is the sugar. If you're diabetic and don't want to use the sugar, you can sweeten the food by adding sweet apple or Asian pear to this recipe. And I actually like that idea better. 
or eat well, and you're done. Tasting the water kimchi the next day, and it was very refreshing, like a summer rain. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and like us on Facebook too. Thumbs up will be wonderful too. Take care and be healthy. Bye.